Here we have a virtual machine. On it I've set up the Revit server. The name of the server is RS Top Level for Revit Server Top Level. We can see inside of the server admin console there's a folder here for dataset projects which is the name of my project and then I've got three different files inside of here. There's the architecture, the HVAC and the structural. Now, these files are work shared files in order that they can be placed onto the Revit server and at the moment all that's happened is they've been opened inside of Revit, work sharing's been enabled and then they've been saved to the Revit server location. I'm going to go to Revit now and I'm going to open the electrical file and I'm going to load that up to the Revit server as well. Let's take a look. Here we have the electrical model. I'm going to open this up. So here's the file opened up inside of Revit 2014. Now, what I'm going to do, first of all, is go to my Collaborate tab, over to Work Sets, and initiate work sharing. As each of the objects in the model is assigned a work set, it will take a few moments to complete. Here we see that work sets have been enabled, so I'll just click OK. And what I'm going to do is a save as to my Revit server. I have this RS top level and then the dataset folder. Inside of here, give it the electrical name, double check that it's a central model click OK and then save. Switching over to the Revit server admin console now, as I refresh the data set you can see the new electrical file is there, recently saved with information about that file. How do we now get our files into our vault? So going back to Revit, by installing Vault Professional 2014 I have a new ribbon tab. The tab on the ribbon gives me panels and one of these panels is my settings and inside of settings there's a mapping area. What we do here is we take the location of the Revit server folder and the location inside of the vault and we map them together. Therefore any time that you place a Revit file into this folder location on the Revit server and then save the file, it will get backed up to the vault location. So this means that the vault is making a backup of the central file on the Revit server whenever the file is saved. Also you can set it up for when it synchronizes as well. This can be done on the sharing tab here. So I've got it no automatic upload on synchronization because I don't want it to upload every time I synchronize, but it does upload on close. So back on mapping, I'm going to click on the folder location and indicate that I'm going to use a Revit server location. This Revit server will be the same one that we've seen on my virtual machine. Expanding the name of the Revit server here and finding my dataset folder, I would then click OK. So the folder location on the left hand side is the Revit server location, the folder location on the right hand side it's going to be a folder I choose for the vault. I'm going to make a new folder here. This is going to be my 2014 data set and click OK. Now, let's take a look at the vault. Here I have Vault Professional and I've not updated or refreshed my Project Explorer yet. So I just created a new folder. As I hit refresh here within Revit Files, you'll see the new 2014 underscore dataset folder. So what should happen is when I save the file or close the file, the file will be uploaded to the vault. So I'm going to click OK to close the options inside of Revit. You can see here there's a toggle switch at the moment, no upload on synchronize or upload on synchronize. But inside of options, remember in your sharing, you've got upload on close. So whenever you close this file, 
it should upload. Now let's take a look at our work sets. And of course, because I've just created this file, I own everything inside of the file. So I'm going to do a synchronize to relinquish. You can see here I can relinquish the user created work sets and click OK. Let's take a look at the Revit server. As I refresh, clicking on the electrical again, there's now a second version inside of here because I just did the uh, synchronize. And now, as I close the file, you can see preparing files for Vault, and this is going to be uploading the information to the Vault server. So what I'll do is try and put these side by side. We'll just minimize the properties for now. And the file is complete, so let's take a look now inside of the 2014 dataset as you can see here. So as I refresh the 2014 underscore dataset location, you can see the electrical file is in place.